Hey crafters, welcome to today's video. So today's project is actually inspired by a craft I did when I was younger with my piano teacher. And it was like a Christmas party and she had these fun ornaments that we made. They were just regular glass ornaments. They were these fun like cube shapes and we painted them. But we didn't get out a paintbrush and we didn't paint the outside of them. We put paint inside them and painted them like that and it was really cool. So I thought I would bring this project to you guys today and show you how I made this project project when I was younger. So first of all, you're going to want some paint. I've got a couple different brands here of paint. I have this green and this white apple barrel, and then I've got this really cool folk art metallic red. So I'm going to use these three colors today. You can use as many colors or as few colors as you want. Once you see the process, you might realize that, ooh, maybe more colors will give the look I'm going for, or you might find that you want to go with less colors just for a simpler look. The choice is yours, doesn't really matter, but you just want to have some paint colors that you can use. And then second of all, you're going to need a clear ornament. Now, you can use plastic for this project, but if you're going to be buying a whole box of ornaments, I would suggest you get glass ones because I'm going to have another tutorial coming soon where you're going to want clear glass ornaments. So anyways, if you think you might want to try my craft that's going to come out later on, then you might just want to buy a single pack of the glass ones instead of buying a pack of plastic and glass. So anyways, now that that's out of the way, let's talk about how you actually make this. So to start, you see we've got this nice cap on there. We want to take this off. So really simple, if you just gently pull, it comes right off because these wires here just bend and so it just pops right out. So just carefully pull it apart and you can set this piece off to the side. Now it's time for the paint because we're painting. I'm gonna go put my paint shirt on, so give me just a moment. All right, so now I'm back in better clothes for painting. So I'm just going to start with my colors, shake up my container of paint just a little bit to get it nice and mixed and then open it up. And I'm going to squeeze just a little bit in the inside here. Now when I squeeze each color in, I'm going to kind of angle it different ways so that way when the paint drips into here, it will kind of drip in in different spots and that would just help us be able to get some neat patterns and things. So I'm just going to keep it tilted this way this time. And squeeze a little bit of glue into there. You'll get a lot of glue up on the top here, but that's okay. So I've got a little bit of white. I'm going to add my red. And last of all, I'm going to add my green. So now that you've got your paint in there, it's time for the fun part. We're going to shake this. Now, a word of caution. I didn't realize when I made this one years ago, I was much younger then, and I started shaking it and the paint started sliding around. It was awesome, but it wasn't until I was mostly done that I realized that as I was shaking it really hard, paint was flying out the hole in the top and it got all over my shirt then. So you want to put either your thumb over the hole so that way none of the paint comes out, or you could put on a pair of like rubber gloves and put your thumb over the hole just so that we know paint comes out. So I'm just going to hold my thumb over it and start shaking the paint. And when you shake, turn it all different directions so the paint really oozes around. And if you need to, you can go back in and add more color, but you're just gonna kind of shake and let the paint come up the sides of the ornament. I'm gonna add a little more paint to mine. Cause you don't wanna use too much paint so that way it takes forever to dry, but you wanna use enough so that way as you shake it around the paint will spread. And if it's not spreading as fast as you'd like, you could even get a toothpick and swirl that around in there. Again, put your thumb on there and shake. So now I've got my ornament looking the way I want it to. I'll give you a closer view here. What I like about how this one's turning out is because it's still clear in some spots, you can see a lot of the cool patterns that are inside down in the bottom. So I personally like that look, so I'm going to leave it as is so that way you can still kind of see into the ornament. But you can do yours so that way the entire thing is coated, like with this ornament, or you can do it where just parts of it are coated. But I like the way this is turning out, so I just need to let it dry. So I don't want to put the top back on because if I put the top back on, it's gonna take a lot longer to dry. So I'm just gonna set this somewhere where the top will stay upright for it to dry. Or if you want, you can let it dry facing downwards so that way the paint could continue to run and create some new cool effects. So if you want to dry it upside down, you can just use an egg carton, set it upside down in an egg carton. Some of the paint will continue to drip down the side and create some new patterns as it dries. But either way, you can let it dry sitting upward, you can let it dry angled a certain way, and just wait on your ornament to finish drying, and then it'll be time to put the top back in and put it on the tree. 
and now my ornament is dry. If you look at it, you may notice that there's not as many gaps and things in there. That's because I let mine dry upside down, and so as it was drying, there was a little more paint in there than I realized, so all that extra paint kept running down the side. But I'm really happy with how it turned out. It's really pretty, has a lot of character to it. And now all I need to do is put the cap back on. And so with the cap, just squeeze these two little ends together, slide it right back in there, and now your ornament is ready to go on your tree. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's tutorial. Make sure you come back tomorrow for another awesome Christmas craft. There are so, still several more days left until Christmas, so lots of fun crafts still coming your way. I've got some more involving these glass ornaments, so you'll definitely want to come back for more of those fun ornament ideas. They make great little keepsakes, great little after-school crafts, or even they're just fun to make by yourself even. I mean, I love doing these things. So much fun. But as always, I hope you guys give this video a thumbs Thumbs up if you haven't subscribed already. Make sure you hit the little subscribe button. It would make me very happy. But until next time, I hope you all have a Merry Christmas and Happy Crafting.